Hello and welcome to the meme show. I am the host Chuck that Estes. As you may already know, I am not a summoner enjoyer, but in some instances I can appreciate a summoner build that has more to offer than just summon shit and watch from the backline. And this is one of those times. I hope you appreciate the TT Mancer, which is the tank torn necromancer. My weapon is the Beast Run Ward. We really want the Fanatism Aura to reach a decent attack speed frame as a Necromancer. With level 8 or more Fanatism, you will reach 666 attack frame on Zeal, including only the 40 increased attack speed from the Beast. The Elm is Ferocity, Attacker Take Damage, Life Leech, Zeal, and more importantly, Taunt, to keep the aggro off your minions. Yes, you heard that right. We want to keep the aggro all to ourselves because, as a Necromancer, we are a damn masochist. Metal Grid Amy has a ton of attacker take damage, attack rating, and resistances. It's everything we want. Spike Thorn Shield is the biggest attacker take damage shield in the game with faster hit recovery and damage reduction. Trust me, we want as much faster hit recovery and damage reduction as we can get. Trek Boots also has some ATD, strength, vita, and faster hit recovery. One Raven Frost for the huge attack rating bonus. Trek Boots has some ATD, Strength, Vita, and Faster Hit Recovery. One Raven Frost for the huge attack rating bump. Verdun Go Belt for survivability. Carrion Ring for Life Leech and ATD. Sour Drainer Gloves will increase your turn damage and also provide Dual Leech. The Armor is still Carapace, ideally with 2 sockets for Hell Runes. I don't really want to put 220 points into Strength if I can get away with it. On swap, I use Bone Flame Shield with Lear Requent to revive archers and mages, but I also use a Demon Limb to pre buff attack rating, otherwise, it's a bit hard to hit anything. My GCs are a bunch of summoning GCs, and Smart Charms are Resistance and HP. The Merc uses Silence Run Ward and Brember for the Dual Thorn Aura, which stacks on top of her attack rating damage setup. And now, if you haven't seen my previous ATD builds, the best way to make use of it is. Get it once or twice and have an efficient way to deal with the remaining HP. The way I did it here is both Archer and Mages. Why wouldn't I use Iron Golems for this? Well, that's easy. You need item to cast them and the damage they actually return is jack shit compared to what my Necromancer do return. Now, don't go thinking you are the tank god and act like a jackass in a pack of monsters because you will get killed. This is a war build. I would not recommend for our core. Your HP pool is very low and the only saving grace is your block chance and leech. If you get put into recovery animation, hit that full red drifts, otherwise you'll leave your skin behind. My skills are 20 skelly mastery, 20 mages, 20 archers, 20 amp and 20 curse mastery. I do not use iron maiden as it seems to have a weird interaction with gear ATD and either doesn't work or it overrides it. My stats are enough strength for gear, enough vit for around 1k HP and everything else into dexterity for AR and block chance. Thank you all for watching, but we're done here, go away now. And subscribe.